How's it going everybody? My name is Shadow, the guy here around Amka Music Center and today I'm just making a quick little video on the changes, the patch notes from the latest version, 3.30. Now Fuck em Rum is not out yet, but um, the new patch is out and it's kind of just came out of nowhere and there's a little bit, a little bit of controversy. Um, um, I have not actually looked at the patch notes yet, but I've, I've heard some things. I've heard some things, and it's a little bit, a little bit ominous. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've made a little tier list here, and we're going to be ranking the changes of each character. So you can see, fucking Rum is on his own tier list. He's not actually out yet, and all the characters who have not had any changes are here unchanged. I've already done that ahead of time, and as you can see, over half of the cast has not had a single change which is not really the the patch notes that I think most people have been excited for I think most people were expecting changes to every single character some low tier characters like the Bears and Gigas to be buffed and Fane but no only a very small percentage like about a third of the cast have actually had any changes at all so we're gonna see Who's, who's been buffed? Who's been nerfed? Um, let's check it out. So we're going to start from the top of the tier list. Here. Um, Horang first up. So his 4-3. I'm assuming that's the second hit of his standing 4-3. Has had a slight damage buff. Um, his crouch less 3 increased the low range of the attack. That means it's going to hit... Um, his crouch less 3 is going to hit... Like grounded now, it's gonna hit low in his wall juggles, I assume. It might even hit people on the ground, which is really big. Um, and his his just frame skyrocket is safe now. That's really big. So you can't punish his just frame skyrocket. That's actually really big. That means he can just throw it out whenever he wants. While standing 4-4, four, four, that's his 11 frame crouch punish. Um, damage buff to, from 13 to 16, that's a nice little buff. Side step four, increase the low range of the attack. That means it's gonna hit people on the ground. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna hit like after some counter hit lows, things like that. That's also pretty big. That I mean, he might even have some more combo roots. But he doesn't anymore. Um, while I'm right stance down forward three, I believe that's a, a launcher. That's safe now. That's really big. While I'm right stance back to. Um, I'm not actually entirely sure what that move is off the top of my head, but it's plus four now. Oh, I know what move it is. That's... Wow. Okay. And right flamingo down four damage buff. Wow. Those are some really nice buffs to Hoang. Um, yikes. Hoang, I already considered an underrated character, personally, from my view. I'm very upset that they did not get rid of a guaranteed follow-up from his choke throw, the two throw. Yeah, Hoang is looking really strong now. I'm going to put him in the big winners. He's gotten a lot of nice utility buffs, frame buffs, damage buffs. Hoang players are going to be very happy. He, he got away with some shit here. Um, up next, Ling Xiaoyu. Um, down 3-4, that's a tailspin move. Well, no, it, it wasn't. It wasn't a tailspin move, but now it is? Okay. Wow. So, he, she, Joey's got a new tailspin, and that's going to be really useful. Um, that means she can probably comp, has more combo roots off of some op, um, like sweep options that she didn't before. That's quite interesting. Down back four, that's not a move I see many Ling players do. It's like a little staggering move. Um, it is a counter hit launcher. So, that's got a damage buff. That's nice. Back to two, that's a bit of a gimmick move. Um, change the opponent's behavior when this move lands as a counter hit. That's really a gimmick, that is something you can fuzzy low parry safely. So it makes sense they buffed it because it's not really a move most link players would use. Back three is plus two on block now. That is a high move. It's a move that Xiao uses to go into her back turn stance. That's quite big. Um, that mean you know that means that she knows now. In advantage in back turn, she can do that move, and if the opponent blocks it, then she has frame advantage to 
go into you know maybe her raise drive to um, four launch mix up. That's pretty big. Damage buff on um, that full crouch down forward four four. That's pretty big. Um, damage buff on Phoenix. That's nice little moves that aren't you know very used very often. Now I've got some nice little damage buffs to make them a little bit more appealing. Uh, back turn three. I'm not entirely sure that move is, but it's now only minus 14. I think that's a low. I could be wrong. I think that's her back turn low, and the second hit is her rage drive. I could be wrong. Shorten the recovery time from your hits by three frames. Nice. So that means she's she's got more advantage. She's got more utility. I. I don't think it's quite to the scale as Horang, but Xiaoyu's definitely gone bust across the board. So she's definitely a winner in this patch note. Brian, Brian only has one change um, on his... Uh, that's his soccer kick. The um, Wait, no, no, that's his hatchet kick. Sorry, that's the low move that um, has a kind of whiplash effect and has a, a guaranteed follow-up on counter hit. So it's got a damage buff and it's got a frame of advantage. It's not very much, but it's a buff. Buff's a buff. But I think Grand Place will be happy with that. Hey Hachi, shorten the recovery time after an Electra Wing Goldfist misses by three frames. This I don't like at all. I'm not a fan of that one little bit. So Lohai actually made a, a tweet. Let's see if we can find it actually. Okay, so here's the tweet. Um, so this is across the board for every single Mishima character. Um, just watch a video and I think you'll understand why this is a mistake. Let, let's see. Yeah. That's, that's, that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. Okay, well, let's, let's, uh... Let's, let's go back to the tier list. Um, I don't really know what to say about that. You can't launch Punish the Electro Wing Gold Fist on Wither anymore. That's a mistake. That's a big, big mistake. That's gonna I mean Machines can just abuse um, Electro Wing Gold Fist. So, so yeah. Um, Obviously, this is big for Hachi. There's some other Mishima buffs that Kazuya and Devil Jin have that we're going to get to in just a second, as you can see. Um, this alone is definitely a buff for Hachi. Single-handedly, I wouldn't put it in the big winners thing, but Kazuya and Devil Jin definitely are big winners. And you'll see why in just a second. Um, this is a mistake. I hope Namco fixes it. We're going to talk about that after we go rank for every character. But for now, let's talk about Kazuya. Um, down back 4, that's his stature kick, uh, increase the lower range of the attack, that means it's going to hit grounded now, that means it's going to hit after more things, that's, oof, that's good for him. Um, let's win Godfish, short recovery time, we already know that, and Hell Sweep increased the moves tracking. Kazoo's and Devil Jin's Hell Sweeps are now homing, and that is, um, goes back to the tweet I showed you about Michael Murray at the start of this video. That's not good. You, so the most typical thing is that, you know, this has been around since Tekken 3. You sidewalk left Machimus, you sidewalk left the Electro and Gulfus, you sidewalk left the Hell Sweep. This has been the classic defensive tactic against Machimus since Tekken 3. For over 20, almost over 20 years, you have been sidewalking left Machimus, and they've just thrown that out of the window with tracking Hell Sweeps. I can't begin to tell you how big this is. This means you have to completely change your defensive options against Mishimas. That's really big. And that's why Kazuya is definitely a big winner. He's a big winner, Mishima. Mishima's the Mishima mains are gonna be laughing about this tier list. I I'm I'm there's gonna be some hot spicy takes all over Twitter. Um but that's not what we're here for right now. We're just here for facts. And without a doubt, this is a big buff for Mishimas. And we'll see, we'll see how things go. But this is this single change is so controversial that Michael Murray, the producer of Tekken, has now privated, he's privatized his Twitter account because 
People were not happy. That's not very good. It's not good. Um, let's take a little break from machine. Let's talk about Asuka. So this is her sweep move. Decrease the distance between the character opponent. That means that it's more, it's easier for Asuka to pick up now. That was kind of being inconsistency. Shorten the recovery time when cancelling move by minus two. That's fine. That just basically means she recovers a little bit quicker. It's not going to be a massive deal, hopefully. Um, three ring circus for her first hit. Change the time of a punch parry's effect. Oh, this is a mistake. This is actually Asuka's parry. So this is actually back. Um, two plus three. This is her punch parry. You know the one. Oh no no, this is a sabaki. I apologize. This is not her parry. This is something completely different. It basically, she has a punch parry launcher, mini launcher. Um, she, she's had it to the second five, I believe. Maybe Jun had it beforehand. I'm not quite sure, but nonetheless, this basically means that she can the punch parry activates. Beast Punch is a lot faster now. So that's a nice buff for Asuka. That means her Sabak is more useful. Down 1 plus 2, that's her grounded um, launch punishable sweep. Uh, reduce the strength of the pushback and move the move easier to land. That's fine. That means it's easier to, uh, to block punish now and it's easier to hit. That's probably better across the board for people fighting against Asuka and for Asuka players. And she's considered crouching from a lot earlier, so that means that it's going to be high crushing a lot faster. I'm finding while rising one, reduce the strength to push back in movies, and that's a nice quality of life buff for Asuka. So Asuka's definitely a winner of this buff. We haven't had any losers yet. Just some small buffs across the board. Devil Jin, we already know. Electro Wing God Fist, can't with punish it anymore. Stupid. Homing Hell Sweep, stupid. Roll rising two. Reduce the strength of pushback and may have move easier. Flam means it's gonna be easier to block punish and it's gonna be it's gonna be um, easier to follow up from. So definitely Devil Jin big winner. Oh my god. Lily! Let's talk about Lily. Um, Lily's uh, forward three. Change of move to semi-opponent spinning when it lands as a counter hit. So she's got a new counter hit launcher. That's very nice for Lily players. Down one plus two, I believe that's um, like a kind of grounded hit pressure move. I could be wrong. Reduce the strength for pushback and move easier to land. Increase the range of the attack when successfully stopping opponent's attack. Well, those are buffs. I'm not a lady player, so I don't know these moves off the top of my heart, top of my head even. Um, but that's definitely nice. Back three plus four, shorten the recovery time by four frames. That's nice. And a quarter circle forward two, I believe that's um, a homing move. Change the frame advantage when blocked, so it's safe now on its own. Those are definitely some nice buffs for Lily. I think Lily players will be happy with those buffs. Those are very reasonable buffs. Dragonov, um, one change. Fix an issue in which removes properties differed. That's practically unchanged. That just is just a quality of life buff. Dragonov is basically unchanged. Leo, down forward two. Fix an issue where the distance to the opponent when move hits was different from counter hit, so just another quality of life buff. Not really anything major at all. Nina. Nina's gotten a few buffs. Down back two, that's her kind of like homing uh, gut stun move, chop. Change the opponent's behavior when move lands as a counter hit, so she's got a new counter hit launch in it. That's basically what that means. I I think it actually a uh, tail spin on counter hit. Maybe now it gut stuns, that would be really big. Um, I'm going to assume that's a buff, because it means a low tier character. Down back 3, change your frame advantage upon hit from plus 3 to plus 4, nice little change. Uh, back 2 is now homing, that's nice, she's got, uh, slap is now a homing move. Quarter circle forward 3, is now a high crush a lot earlier, sidestep 4, is now minus 14, that means that a lot of characters like Elisa and other characters whose hop kick is their 15 frame while standing punish now can't launch it so that is definitely a nice little buff for Nina players not a lot but these are the kind of buffs I was expecting from this two list just nice small quality of life buffs um yeah okay Akuma oh boy what have they done to Akuma uh his Shakunets the red fireball is now minus 12 on block that's I think since you can FADC anyway that's very reasonable 
um, trained the frame bondage upon a hit. I'm wondering if that means that he can't um, follow up. Or no, he can F ADC, so he can still follow up. Uh, change of damage on his down four bets is sweep, so that's a small nerf. And four forward three, that uh, change the opponent's behavior and move lands as a counter hit. No, forward forward four, that um, was his. That's like a, an advancing launcher. Kind of hit launcher that Akuma has. I'm assuming that means that it tailspins. I could be wrong, but I'm assuming that means it's now not a full launcher, it's a tailspin launcher. So Akuma is actually a, the first loser of this tier list. They've nerfed Akuma just a little bit. Lee, down back three. That's um, a very small, pokey little low. Um, slow, small, small buff to that. Back four is now a, you can't with punish back four now you can basically just throw it out and unless if you're already throwing out a move when he's doing it yeah back four is a lot easier to throw out now that's uh, I, I don't know if i agree with it but it, it's a buff back three plus four is now war bounce um that's his power crush um elisa already can't block punish that at all I, I guess it's a good thing. He, it means Lee can be a little bit dumber over wall now. That's fine, I guess. Punch parry. Change your move to send the opponent spinning. Does that? Oh, in midair. Okay, that's not actually anything significant, I believe. Because it doesn't hit with him in midair anyway. It hits him in the back. So I, I don't think that's much. Nonetheless, Lee is definitely a winner. Oh. These changes. Eddie! Up one, up back one. Oh, those are just um, generic moves. That's just a, a quality of life fix. While running to increase the range, that's. It's a very small but I actually put Eddie's unchanged, I didn't notice, but he's actually a winner. Very small winner, nonetheless, but he is a winner. Um, Miguel, during range, uh, uh, that's his. Um, that's his rage drive. That now means, um, I did see a video, that means that Miguel's rage drive is buffed. That means that he gets a second tailspin. You can now do his rage drive after the tailspin and it counts as a separate tailspin. So that means he gets a lot more damage on his rage drive juggles. It means his wall carry has improved a lot. That's really big actually. So good stuff for Miguel players. So his stance 1-4 is now a natural combo. That's pretty cool. And his down back three, Savage Stance, is now got a damage buff. Miguel's definitely a winner. I would want to go as far as to say he's a big winner. Um, those are some really, really nice buffs for Miguel. Uh, Miguel players have been asking for that Rage Drive buff since Season 1. And he's finally gone. That's well deserved, in my opinion. Just quickly, that one very small thing. Um, I missed a couple of things in most patch notes. Now that we have the officially translated English patch notes, there's a couple of corrections I want to make. Um, first of all, I missed out Geese. Geese has actually had quite a few nerfs, as you can see on the screen right now. Um, his Deadly Rave nerf's been uh, reduced by five points, which is very reasonable because it was kind of busted. Um, his Quarter Circle back 2-4, that's the low in the middle-O mix-up. That he has off of, off of course circle back to but damage has been reduced in both max mode and regular which i think is pretty reasonable it's not the biggest of nurse but it is a very um anti online anti you know mid-tier keys player kind of thing um his back one two has been the frame advantage has been reduced from minus seven to minus 12 the frame advantage on hits been reduced from plus four to plus one which is fine in my opinion because um you know if you really want plus frames with geese most players would usually do one one two for plus frames now you have options you can either go for the damage with back one two for 12 frame punish you can go for the knockdown with jab to core circle back one or you can go for plus frames with one one two so i think that's fine and also his while rising three the tracking's been decreased um, very small nerfs. Geese is definitely in the loser category along with Akuma, but not the big loser category. Also, Akuma, where well, I said his forward forward four, the behavior changes on counter hit. Turns out he actually does not get a jug off his forward forward four on counter hit at all, and that's pretty big. Um, he's still not a big loser because he's still pretty strong. It doesn't affect much of his explosiveness, his juggle damage, any of that stuff, but he definitely loses some utility. 
that's all. Thank you very much for watching. I'm almost at the end now. Did I miss... Um, yeah, Law is unchanged. Bob is unchanged. I apologize. I missed those. Anna, 1-3. Decrease the distance. That's good. That means that 1-3 um, on here is now a lot easier to go for the full crouch mix-up. Uh, damage buff and down for 2 is nice. Chaos Judgment 3. Change to the opponent's count as being mid-air when counter hit. I'm... Um, I'm not quite sure what that means. That's quite a bizarre change. I will have to see a video, but I'm going to assume that's a buff. Because, you know, characters have I been getting all buffs all that, so I'm going to assume that's a buff. Bar Rising 3, decrease the distance. Um, that's really big, that now means that and there's Chaos Judgment. Oh, I know what that Chaos Judgment 3 buff is. That means that I think it's a Tailspin now? Oh, oh no, no. That means that Anna no longer gets guaranteed standing follow-ups after her Chaos Judgment 3. It means she just has to go straight to... Uh, uh, straight into a juggle. So, I don't think that's a significant change. It's more a quality of life change. She still gets a uh, follow-up after it. This is big, this means that characters with very good backdashes like Elisa and Safina can no longer backdash away from Anna's um, War Rising, uh, Chaos Judgment mix up after War Rising 3 on hit. So that's a very big buff for Anna. And uh, Full Crouch down forward 2, decrease the distance. Well, that's very big. That means that Anna pretty much always gets a full juggle after the Full Crouch down forward 2 on hit. That's pretty big. So Anna's definitely a winner, not a significant winner, but definitely some nice buffs for Anna. Uh, Lei, 1-1. One, one. Decrease the distance between the character and opponent when the first hit is blocked. That's nice. Change the damage on the second hit, that's nice. Um, his Rave Spin to Drunken Stance, sped up the timing where the opponent's attack can be blocked. So, I think that basically... I'm not too sure what that means, but it's a buff. It basically means Lei can block a lot faster. Snake 4, I believe that's a sweep. I could be wrong. It's, it's a low. It's definitely a low, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. But the damage is increased. And Dragon 3. Um, increased damage. Change the frame advantage. And change the frame advantage from here. But that's a very small buff. Small buff for late. And finally, Leroy. 1 plus 2. That's um, his melty hit. Punch string. Friction issue when him the opponent's back up and switching plays, that's just a quality of life fix. So Leroy is basically unchanged. So that's it. So Um that's yeah, that's it. So overall, looking at this, definitely the big winners, Hoang, the Mishimis and Miguel. Really nice buffs for them. Also big buffs for Lee, for Anna, for Nina, for Lily, or and Heihachi. All those characters, all the, all people who use those characters are gonna be very happy with those changes. Overall, I think these changes are fine, except for the Hell Sweep and Electric Wing Godfist changes, but that's way too much. Um, I, I did see a tweet that said these changes are based upon um, the win-loss ra ratios on ranked. You know, when you go into a ranked match and you see worldwide win-loss percentages for matchups, that's what they're basing these off of to decide which characters are weak and which characters are strong. There's two reasons why that isn't very good. Uh, first of all, the most obvious reason, it's online, so it's not a very accurate representation <laughs> to start with. Uh, Tekken 7 ranked online, not very good, not very high quality. People have been complaining about it for a long time. When's GGPO, please? Um, second of all, this is not very good because it counts for changes for every single player. So, you know, on, on one hand... um. You know, maybe, and this is something that Eris has talked about before and other people in the Tekken scene have talked about. The tier lists in Tekken are different depending on whether you're a beginner, you know, and cheap characters like, say, Lucky Chloe, Eddie, Zafina, Katarina, maybe Asuka, are a lot stronger against beginners who don't know how to block, how to defend properly compared to, um, you know, in the top tier where people know how no the defensive options and most of these changes as far as i can tell are either quality of life changes damage changes frame changes and you know they're based on pro tekken but when you consider the the win-loss ratios for ranked it takes 
perspective that every single match from beginners to Tekken God Prime online, which are still not necessarily strong players, they know how to play the game, but they may not be on tournament caliber. So, I don't know. I think Namco's approach to tier lists is very reactive. I heard um, Wonky, who's the guy who runs Avoiding the Puddles website, he described it as uh, a musical chair tier list where um, they buff the characters that are low in the win loss ratios and ranked, and then they're now, you know, higher, they'll do better, they'll have higher win loss ratios and ranked, and then they'll be the ones getting nerfed again. And that's kind of, I think, what's happening a little bit. You know, again, over two thirds of the cast are completely unchanged, which I'm not necessarily upset about because most characters are relatively fine. Um, there is a bit of power creep people have been saying in Tekken 7 Season 3. Most of these changes I consider to be fine, personally. I think Horine, maybe they overtuned a little bit too much. He's definitely top 10 now, in my opinion, as far as I can tell. Obviously, tournament results, whenever COVID-19 ends, we'll be able to have a better idea. But the Mishimu buffs, it's too much. It's too much. I hope Namco fixes that quick time. Because now it's very difficult to defend against Mishimas. And, you know, Mishimas do have options against Sidewalk in left. Um, Kazuya can do while standing too. Devil Jin can do while standing too. Heihachi can do, like, forward forward too, potentially, or other things. They have options w running three. They have grabs, you know. They have options to deal with Sidewalk in left. Or just canceling now for wave dash and, you know, just seeing what the opponent does. You know, threatening. This has been the Mishima meta for a long time, but now they can just go crazy with the with an unlaunchable electro wing gold fist on duck and a home in hell sweep it's just stupid it's just completely stupid i think i hope they fix that but nonetheless these are the changes for big winners for winners and the single loser akuma which i think is fine except for just this this is this, this i don't like it i don't like it i don't think many people will like it but let me know what you think in the comments um this is something i, I want to you know, use this channel while I have it to, um, you know, make more tech, you know, informative tech and content. So let me know if you guys like this kind of thing and you'd like to see more in the future. I hope, I hope you guys do like it because I enjoyed making this. Thank you very much for watching and yeah, see you next time.